My name is Andrea Casaseca, I'm from Spain and I'm, I am the director, short film director, it's me. It's, uh, okay, Maria is, you know, is really bad character, she's a mean girl, so it's really difficult at the beginning that the audience gets a sympathy with the character, but uh, as soon as the short film goes on, the audience gets that this, the feeling that is she's a teenager, you know, she's so, so innocent. So mostly the teenagers has that kind of behavior. So I guess that is what audience, you know, understand and they get this really good relationship with her because it's like when you saw her, you see, you only think, okay, she's a teenager, she's kind of stupid, she's kind of mean girl. So that is the reason that I think that how the audience create this sympathy with her. Yeah, the, the color is real good question because the color here in this short film, we were, I was thinking that it was really important. You know, all the time, this is a drama and we wanted to be as uh, cold as possible on the short film with the look. Um, we thought that blue and greens, they were this kind of the, this color that the audience received, like, okay, this is a drama, this is nothing, this is not happy. Also, the red color uh, is really important because red means the guilty. So Maria and all the classroom and the, uh, her friends, they wear this color. So that means it's like, also uh, the mother wear this color. So everyone except the you know the main character the little boy everyone has this kind of guilty so we want to you know to show that okay so yeah because it is really important because what you do in your the life in some way they comes back to you so i wanted to show this you know like the one who make the bullying, the one who make, who receive it is their brother, they are siblings. Siblings? Yeah. So, um, that was the main idea, like try to do your best because you never know who you are doing your best and you never know who you are doing your the worst. So let's, you know, try to, the people you know as best as you can. Yeah, it's, like, it's more like your self-reflection, you know, you have to, because yeah, there were like mirrors and also the hall is like that kind of reflections. And we wanted to, I wanted to show the audience like, you know, you act as you are, you know, like you never know. All of us, we have like hidden parts inside of us. So never, the things are never like the same, you know. So try to do, try to act as, you are, I mean, the best as you can. Yeah, at the, at the end of the short film, you see that, you know, you see that Maria, there is one time that is before and then, after all this happened. So, um, yeah, of course, I guess, you know, it's like this, that moment separate the childhood, in some way, you know, they're like um, young teenager and the adult world, you know, like, you never know who you are hurting, but this is not a game. This is not a, you know, this is not a play. So when you are a teenager, you think you can do anything you want, but it's not true because sometimes you are hurting someone um, that is going to mark their lives, maybe for the future. So you have to take care who you, what you are doing, you know. You know, I, I just wanted to so the audience that this is a real problem nowadays we are you know in some way to sick about this bullying things and you know this is a real problem even that i'm show you in a film uh, these things happens so there's still many many of the teenagers that they think this is like a game and they don't worry or they don't think about the consequences about to tell someone really bad things so what i wanted to show with this short film is like you know be more conscious and treat to the rest of the people as you would like that they were treating and treating like you to you